Today, I'm going to explain to you what the difference between a megabit is from a megabyte and why more upload speed is more important if you're a gamer. What's going on guys, it's Cody Cortez PC, and as you guys are probably wondering, why would an upload speed matter more than download speed, and what is the difference between megabit and megabyte when it comes to what it says on my bill, and why do I not get as fast as I should be getting when I go to speedtest.net? Um, okay, a little bit of information for you guys. The difference between a megabit per second and a megabyte per second is... And megabit is really a number that can be divisible by eight, and that's how fast it really is. So, if you're supposed to be getting megabytes per second, you're paying a lot more new, uh, than what you currently are, which is why people that pay so cheap for what they think is bargain internet go so slow. Now, a megabit per second is actually the equivalent of, say, uh, about... Uh, I'm gonna put it in a ballpark and say you're getting somewhere between 50 kilobit per sec, uh, kilobytes per second and 200 kilobytes per second because it's not really an exact science. My DSL at home, which I am trying desperately to get rid of, is rated for up to 6 megabit per second with a 0.2 mega, uh, 0.25 megabit per a second upload speed. Now, um, my download speed, for example, when I go onto Steam it re registers that I can at most download up to 800 kilobytes per second. Now, for those of you who don't know, a kilobyte is one thousandth, one one thousandth of a megabyte. So when you get up to 800 kilobytes, you're actually just shy of a megabyte. Now, the internet at my house costs about $50 a month, and that is terrible when you think that Comcast, Charter, or whatever you got in your area that's actually using cable as opposed to DSL is faster. Now, to explain to you why it's better to have an upload speed that's higher than what I've got as opposed to a download speed, which I can live with, um, when you're playing a video game, you can, you can tell when someone's slow because they're laggy. Um, especially if you got a game that's actually not based on cloud computing or anything like that since uh, you installed Diablo 3 or Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, any kind of game you want on your hard drive. That's why it says you need a minimum like 10, 15, or 30 kil uh, megabytes of or gigabytes of hard drive space if you're playing WoW or whatever. Um, the upload speed matters because you're sending information as fast as you can as opposed to receiving. You can retrieve all day long. Um, but if you can't send back the response, then you can't communicate properly. Now, for example, my upload speed is so bad that I cannot send videos in 1080p because they're so large. And 1080p video is no less than twice as large as a 720p video. Meaning if I send you guys a 5 minute video in 1080p, it's going to take me twice as long to upload it because there's more than twice as much information, which is a simple equation that if you guys really want to find out, I can I can explain to you guys in the comments below. Um, anyway, like I said, upload speed can be the equivalent, if you would, of going through traffic. Y'all will use traffic. Um, if you've ever noticed that traffic slows down really bad when there's that one asshole sitting in front with their thumb up their ass with a cell phone in their hand not knowing where they are or what they're doing but everybody in the other lane is just like fast as hell it's uh, well to consider that you're downstream which means how fast things are downloading now if you're trying to go 50 60 miles an hour on a main road and that asshole in front of you is only going about 30 miles an hour, guess what? If you got a cop on your ass, you're not going to accelerate past him because that's considered illegal. Therefore, you're bottlenecked at 30, 35 miles an hour, and that line just keeps getting longer and longer. Now, if you think about it, that's exactly what 
upload speed on the internet is. Now, other factors that can affect your download and upload speed is the amount of people in your area that are using the same type of internet that you are. The more people that are using it, that's going to proportionally decrease your speed by person. So if they're downloading, say, a 10 gig file and you've only got, like, say, they send you guys, like, 10,000 um, gigabytes of information or something like that at a time, take away that steadily through a couple neighborhoods and you can understand that up up to speed really is relevant to the amount of people. Now if you got a bunch of like high school kids on their Xboxes during the summer or someone watching super ultra mega porn, not that I would do that, um, <clears throat> or Skype or anything like that, you are sucking your your internet speed and the more upload and download speed you have, the faster you can receive information and send. Now, my personal opinion, if you want to be able to stream or anything like that, which I'm working on getting the internet connection required to do so, you're gonna want, say, 15, 20% more speed than you actually need. So you wanna pay 20, 30 dollars more a month if you can afford it, and uh, just take bite the bullet because you'll be thankful. Um, if you want one megabyte per second download speed, one megabyte, not megabit, one megabyte, you're going to need to get at least a 10 megabit per second download speed because I don't know if anybody sells eight or nine. Um, 10 is fine for you if that's what you care about. Now, as always, you want to have higher upload speed as much as you can. You're never going to have upload speed faster and download because you're not a very powerful server that can send this stuff so fast it's not funny. Or And you're not that one lady that's got like that 40 gigabit per second download speed over there and I think um, and it's Norwegian lady or something like that. Anyway guys, I'm going to say thank you for checking out the video and if you liked it, be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel. If you don't like it, dislike it and explain to me why you didn't like it and if you want to argue about this kind of information I am more than willing to go into details with you and be happy to learn something if I'm actually wrong anyway check out videos that are over here um it helps me out a little bit please make sure that you don't have ad block on YouTube channels because it takes away money from people and seriously you don't get that many ads on YouTube anyway um as always guys thanks for watching and have a good one